We begin with the latest development on Inam Dekanu's trial. The Federal High Court in Abuja has adjourned until tomorrow for Inam Dekanu to take his plea. Other seating counsel to the federal government, Margaji Labaran, informed the court of the 15-count amended charge preferred against the defendant. Lead counsel to Nnam Dekanu, Mike Ozokame, objected to the defendant taking his plea as they were served with the charge yesterday and has not been able to consult with the defendant. He noted that the adjournment is for a hearing of pending applications filed by the defendant. Counsel to Mr. Kano insisted that the proof of evidence is not legible enough for their understanding of the new amended charge. Mike Ozekome took over from Ifanyi Ejiofo as the lead counsel to IPUB. was dated 17th hours of Friday and filed yesterday. And as soon as it was filed, it was served on them. And they had an interaction with him. And of course, uh, you are aware of, so, of the fact that um, law requires that um, charges can be amended and um, filed even on the eve of the judgment of any case. So the mere refusal to take the plea today is one of the several antics exploited by the defendants to delay this case. Have been able to give me another clearer copy which is legible. And with that, we will take the next step. Um, tomorrow, no one is running away from plea being taken. But the point we made today, which the court appreciated, is that you can't take plea to counts that have not even been given to you. We were served some minutes to 10 a.m. yesterday a 15 count amended charge for a case coming up today. Whereas the last date of adjournment was 2nd of December. So they had well over one and a half months to have done that and served us. They didn't. So I believe that was intended to frustrate today's procedures. In any event, that was the sixth time they uh, amended the charge. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.